Hi there, my name is Latrina, and a few days ago my son reached out to offer you all a free video showing some things you can do to improve your online presence by boosting it and getting more leads, customers, and sales. As he mentioned over the phone, there's no selling in the video. We make these for free in our free time because we believe givers gain. So hopefully this video is helpful to you all. Please let us know what you thought, if it was helpful or not, just so that we can continue to improve these. So let's get started. So what I'm going to cover is content, backlinks, and citations and why these are important website elements. I'll take a look at your company's online profile and make recommendations for improvement if I see any. So content is anything that's on your website. It's your words, your images, your videos. You want to have enough content because this allows Google to crawl your site, become familiar with your business, and grab the relevant keywords to describe the services that you offer. Ideally, you want to have 1,500 words on your home page at least, and at least 500 on your back pages. And then citations are listings you get throughout the internet and in directories like Google, Yellow Pages, and Yelp. It's your business name, address, and phone number as shown in the example. You want to have as many of these as you can get and more than your competitors. This just sprinkles your business throughout the internet so that Google can verify that you are a legitimate business. And then finally, backlinks. Backlinks are the placement of your website onto other websites. So for example, if you have a Facebook page, Twitter, LinkedIn, Yelp, any of these, and your website is listed there, these are considered backlinks because they direct traffic away from those sites back to your website, hence the name. Not all backlinks are created equal though, so you just wanna make sure your backlinks are related to your line of work. Okay, so you wouldn't be listing yourself in auto body detailing store um, because that would not um, be relevant to what you do. The more backlinks you have, however, the more popular your website becomes. And to Google, backlinks are a measure of popularity as well as trustworthiness. So if other sites are willing to list your website on their pages, then to Google, that's a great indication that you are a trustworthy business. Now, first of all, I love your website. I'm gonna come back to it in just a moment. I wanna pop over to Google momentarily. So I did a search HVAC contractors for Concord, and what comes up immediately are some ads, Google ads and other paid advertisements, right? That people have placed. One thing to note about ads is um, sometimes people won't see these if they have ad blockers installed on your computers. So I try to show businesses things they can do naturally to improve their presence and um, visibility. What I'm showing you right now is called the map pack. And this is a prime real estate area because 30 to 40% of traffic occurs in this space right here alone. And this is where Google lists who they perceive to be the top ranking businesses. So in this case, one, two, three, these are the top ranking businesses. Um, for Google right now, okay? And what you can see is that um, big air heating and air conditioning is actually here in this space. So that's great. Kudos to you for accomplishing that. As we move further down the page, Google continues to rank businesses on these pages. You want to be placed somewhere in the first three pages, at least, because as you move further away, less people are looking at those pages, all right? Um, so yeah, so that's my information for you for Google. Um, this information, just to give you some insight on how Google works and um, understanding that the tips that I'm sharing with you will help you to maintain your placement there in the map pack. All right, so give me one second here. Okay, so when I come to your website, um, it's very eye-catching, very nice. I like the color scheme. I like your, your logo um, and the place, the, the visibility of your vehicles. It just... Um, makes your presence known so that people, when they see these vehicles, they'll be able to relate, hey, I was on their website. So I like that. Um, one thing I'm going to recommend to you, first off, is if you can get a contact form somewhere on the top half of your screen of your first page, contact just meaning collecting first name, uh, I'm sorry, name, email, and phone number. Um, studies have shown that people fill those out more 
consistently when they are at the first half of the page and front and center, you know, something they can see right away. And when people come to your website, sometimes they might not want to call or they'll say, I'll call later. But this way, they can give you their lead, their contact information right at the front door, right? You can get that information and you can follow up when you're not busy. Um, your staff can reach out and schedule a, a call with them, a house call. Otherwise, um, the other thing that I'm going to recommend to you is add more content. Um, you don't have a lot of words on your page. And if you remember, words are going to be essential because that's how Google spends time on your website. If you don't have a lot of content, Google will jump off your page and, and go to another site um, right off the bat. But if you have a lot of content, not only will Google crawl your page, spend time there, but they'll come back more frequently, okay? So you wanna have enough content. Remember, 1,500 words on the home page and at least 500 on your back pages, all right? Let's see, I think that's all I'm gonna give you for now as far as your website, things that you can do. Let's take a look at your data real quick. So your popularity as far as your backlink power is not bad actually, considering that you have 466 um, you just added more backlinks, continue to add those backlinks. At one time you had 663, you're down to 466. So yeah, always be adding the backlinks because if you remember, backlinks equal popularity and trustworthiness. And that's important when it comes to Google. Same thing for your referring domains. You have 56 at the moment, still kind of relatively low. Continuously add those as well to the internet. What's good, however, is that it looks like you have quite a few keywords. Let's take a peek at your keywords. So your placement of your keywords and your ranking is not bad. So you have some that are related to your business name, but you do have some that are buyer intent keywords, keywords that people would probably type into Google to do a search like this one, for example, HVAC Concord. 400 people search that in a month you're number 16. 16 is not terrible if you get more content on your page and continue adding those backlinks your position should improve over time air conditioning conquered 100 people search that every month you're number 13. air conditioning replacement conquered 70 people search that you're number 12. So your backlinks aren't terrible. You're actually doing pretty good there. And I imagine that it will continue to improve as you get more content and you get more backlinks. Okay, so good job with that. Just looking to see. Yeah, as you move down, some of these are not really buyer intent keywords like huge air conditioner. That's, that's why you're kind of low here. Um, this one is a good one though. Heat pump installation conquered. 40 people search that, you're number 53. Um, and the reason that, so just to help you with the correlation. So content is important because it allows you to get these keywords sprinkled all over your website. The more consistent those are, the more um, they show up in your website, then the more Google ranks you for those, right? Because they say, okay, that they, they must really be an expert in that area. They must really be the professionals that are providing that service in their area. So that's how you rank for um, those keywords. If you don't have enough content, then you start to see where you are lower in the position as far as the number, the, the contractors or the companies that show up for those keywords that are ranking. Okay, just to help you to understand that. So I'm going to end it here. What I my takeaway for you is consider getting a contact form on your page just so you can collect name, email, phone number um, quickly. Definitely add more content to your home page. Your home page looks lovely. It's nothing terrible, but you just need to build it out some more so that you can become more relevant, more attractive to Google um, so that they can spend more time on your website. And then also just continue to get those backlinks and um, citations out there, referring domains, so that you can continue to build your business. If I show share your I'm sorry, I'm getting tongue tied. If I show you side by side one of your competitors, you can see that you guys are kind of neck to neck. At one time, they're, they have more um, traffic than you, um, but then it flips and now you were actually in the lead as far as um, traffic. So 
definitely um, just keep doing what you're doing, enhance your website, get the content, and you'll hopefully see a more consistent um, lead over your competition. With that, I'm going to end it here. I hope this has been helpful. Please let me know, please, 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 so that I can make my videos more informative and helpful to um, business owners. In the meantime, I wish you a lovely day and much continued success for big air heating and air conditioning. Take care.